Hey, what is up, guys? It's a Phonic Cthulhu back again. I wanted to give you guys an update on uh, a video I made earlier in the league about um, a build I was calling, oh, a build variant of the Sunder Juggernaut build I was calling the Greedy Sunder Boy build. And somewhat, uh, that build is, is dead. Uh, the main reason being is because the uh the the armor that it was based around it really was just making me too slow and even with the extra quant and the extra rarity um i just i just didn't like it i did i didn't like it at first i was digging it because the extra quant and rarity is like you know my eyes are big with the sight of uh glorious loot that we could potentially get but um I feel like doing it this way, we're going to be clearing faster. And we're still, I actually have more quant now. I'm going to get into that in a second than I had previously with that armor. So, uh, I am also, I have more defense, more armor in general, and I have more, uh, attack power, which is all those working together. It's going to yield me more loot to begin with. Uh, so let's just break it down real quick. If you didn't watch the last video, we got Abisko's Collar, uh, two Venters Gambles on, and uh, Abisko's Leash. Now, uh, I was wearing the uh, Greed's Embrace armor uh, as my armor, but I got tired of it. Uh, there's a lot of things that... that um, like it has negative 20 movement speed, it has negative 20, negative, negative 20 lightning uh, resistance, negative 10 fire resistance. So it's just a lot of things working against you. Now, uh, I was in the market looking for new boots and it was actually pretty hard for me to find boots that weren't like 4 to 5x that, that were an upgrade when using that armor because I needed crazy amounts of resistance. Uh, but then I was also trying to get 30% movement speed and you know high life on the boots so those boots were coming up to be about 4x 5x for the ones that I were looking for um and i just can't afford that right now just for a pair of boots so what i did was i looked at five link uh armors now i already have a six link at Ziri's disfavor so i don't need another six link i mean it'd be nice if i had uh, my war chief on a six link but uh, it's not necessary so since I have Sunder set up on uh, the six link I just went for a five link armor and I was actually able to get this one uh, which is a little low on life but everything else is great uh, I was able to get this one for 20 GCP which is essentially 20 chaos maybe around there 20 to 22 chaos something like that so totally worth it now what that was does now what that did for me was you can see i got tons of resistance um uh, essentially that that gave me an extra 38 lightning res and an extra 44 fire res uh and an extra 12 cold res plus the 12 percent to all res on top there is our implicit so that gives me gave me ton of res so what that means I could do is I could put on these boots, uh, the gold, the gold worms. You, you guys probably know about the gold worm. Uh, went ahead and bought the 20% increased quantity, the max roll um, for like I think it was like 70 C something like that. So I got that, some new boots, and with the new armor. Uh, before we were having to run determination. Uh, we are no longer running determination. Uh, I now have the normal kind of setup where you go with Herald of Ash, Hatred, and uh, Arctic Armor. Uh, if you look, we'll take a look here. I am I hit the 109 on fire. The other two I do not, but it, that's okay. Um, but at least I am capped on those three and you see uh, I don't have endurance charges so it's still pretty low. now we're still pretty much under where we want to be um, normally as a Sunder Juggernaut you still you kinda wanna be 
at uh, around 21,000 uh, before you start feeling safe, you know. So, uh, but we got that going on. We're at about 18,000. And so now I, I'm able to take determination off. Now, with the other build setup I had, even with determination on, we were only hitting about 18,000, I mean uh, 15,000, excuse me, with uh, determination. So we, even so, we without determination, we got an extra 3,000 armor. Now I think uh, I'm still low on life. Now the reason being is there's still a lot of life nodes on the tree that I could pick up. But right now what I did was uh i went and got this jewel here so this jewel socket now like i said in the last video ideally you want to come from the top but i'm just using it as a placeholder until i can respect and just get uh take away that dex node and then get the extra strength node uh what i did where is it where is it i put that extra point here this is not normally on the tree for the sunder juggernaut uh, to give me 25% extra physical damage with axes, uh, two-handed, well, two-handed melee weapons, and then uh, some more attack speed. And, of course, we don't care about accuracy rating. And then uh, I'm going to get this one here for another 25%. This is all going to make me super fast and strong for my clearing abilities, for mapping. Uh, works great in Delve. I'm down to about 130 right now. I know that's not very far, but... Getting, in Delve, you don't have to push far if you're getting decent loot from it. So you just kind of go where you need to go. Now there's there's this in here. This will it's, this is kind of has a, a dual kind of uh, existence with swords and axes. But uh, you could just grab these three and get some axe power. Stronger, faster. It's uh, right here. If we need more life and armor, there's here. There's still a ton of life nodes to get, and I am currently a 92, 91, so still nine more points out there, which I will not be hitting 100. Uh, I honestly, I really, I uh, really only want to push maybe one or two more levels, but just giving you guys an idea if you want to continue your guy further. Um, the, I would say over life. Because we have enough life to live. Unless you, you want to fight Minotaur or something. But, you know. Um, I would suggest just picking up little uh, axe damages or two-handed damages. Because uh, that's going to make us stronger and faster. Now, um, now, you can see my atlas. I've done quite a bit. And only a couple of these, uh, these main, these four, and like park. The park boss is pretty strong with her region. So, but only a few of these did I have to pay for. And uh, now this was with the greed armor setup, and not the armor setup that I have now. With these, I might be able to sustain, uh, survive a little longer. Like Hydra is not really a big problem. He's pretty easy for us. As long as you don't get hit by the water balls, you're good to go. The other three, uh, Chimera is probably your best bet, and then the other two, Minotaur is kind of tough, and Phoenix is like the worst one. Vault Temple map is, is like one of the worst, like the hardest bosses I've ever seen. Uh, for this build, totally get wrecked. You definitely want to make sure you're taking off Multi Strike and putting on Ruthless for that instead, so you can kind of hit and get away, hit and get away. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. You know, uh, of course I, I did finally get a Sunder base Devotos. Now the reason why I got that over the Sunder damage, uh, I've actually checked in the past and I seem to got more DPS from the Sunder attack uh, one than the 40% uh, Sunder or the, I got more from the 15% Sunder attack speed than I did from the 40% Sunder attack damage. So uh, I think I bought this for around 35C or so, so not too bad. It might not be the best uh, Devotos out there, but 
it works for us. So, and of course, I finally did put on a prismatic eclipse instead of a relentless fury. Uh, the reason why I have one red up there, which now I can actually switch it, uh, because this just got the 20, uh, was to have empower and uh, and central. That's the uh, vol one. I'll probably be making a short video checking that out coming up soon so be on the look for that uh, make sure to like and subscribe guys I'll be trying to put out more content where there be retro content if you look at my channel there's like Mega Man and Castlevanias and other stuff but also some Poe videos that, that I come up with and have ideas for so be on the look for that guys and thanks for watching uh, I will catch you soon peace